Uh, I actually have two titles. I'm uh, the chairman of the board for the Interfaith Chapel, and I'm also a volunteer ambassador at the airport. And I was here during the 9-11. Uh, and I got here before the diverted airplanes started showing up. And what happened was planes showed up here with passengers and baggage that we hadn't planned on. And I would stand at the top of the escalator as the people would come up. And they had this strange look, why am I at Cincinnati? And the, the worst part was I had a flight that came in from New York. And they asked me, why am I in Cincinnati? And I explained to them about the planes hitting uh, the World Trade Center. And uh, some of them just had to sit down immediately because they told me that they had people that were working there. There were a group of uh, eight young people that got diverted here on their way to Chicago. So they came up to me and said, we have to get to Chicago. How are we gonna to get to Chicago? There's eight of us and I understand there's no cars or anything left. So wh what do we do? I says, well, I'm the chaplain. I'll pray for you all, but why don't you stand over there in a the corner, sit around, talk about it, pray about it, and we'll see what we can take care of. Well, it wasn't 20 minutes later, a gentleman came up to me and said, uh, are, are you the chaplain here? I said, yeah. He says, well, maybe you can help me. He says, I had a reservation for a vehicle, so they gave me the last vehicle they had. Well, it turned out it wasn't a car, it's a 15 passenger van. And he says, I don't want to leave here with it empty. I said, well, where are you going? He said, Chicago. I said, have I got the deal for you? So I introduced him to the uh, eight uh, high school kids that were in the corner. They got together and uh, all nine of them took off in this 15 passenger van for Chicago. So uh, a lot of bad things happened that day, but a lot of good things came together because people were praying about it. Uh, had an interesting experience just uh, last year. A, uh, we have prayer rugs in the front, we have the east wall marked, so it's easy for the Muslims to do one of their five daily prayers in the chapel knowing which time they're supposed to be there, which way to pray. pray. So there's a Muslim gentleman up front on the prayer rug doing his prayers, and a gentleman who walks through the door who obviously is an Orthodox Jew, and he wanted to do his prayers, and I said, well, yeah, that's, uh, that's fine, but I tell you, up, up front right now is a Muslim doing his prayers. And he says, well, that's no problem. He says, I'll just pray at the back of the chapel here, and I'll get my prayers done. We'll both probably be done and go on our separate ways. So only in America would you see a Muslim up front on his prayer rug praying to Kiba and a Jewish man in the back of the chapel doing his prayers. And that's why I love being in the chapel here at the airport. You know, we have, we're blessed with a lot of great assets here. You know, we're uh, positioned very well geographically. We have an airfield that is um, one of the premier airfields in the country. And we have a, now a diversified business. We have a nice mix of cargo, passenger aircraft, etc. And you know, most of all, we have a great employee base here. We have 400 employees that have a lot of passion, a lot of heart for making uh, CVG succeed. We sometimes get a bad rap in Northern Kentucky for being fragmented, but this airport shows how we can come together, and when we unite, what things are possible. It's, it's exciting to watch all the changes at the airport. The progression of the airport, how it's being streamlined, how it's being diversified in the amount of airlines that they have coming in, and uh, I can see nothing but good things for the airport in the future. The people are just great. I think that the personnel at the airport are just absolutely terrific. I love it. I think the airline industry is really an exciting field to be in because I met so many people. People will ask me, well, what do you do as a chaplain at the airport? I said, well, I, I consider the airport my church and the people going through there my congregation. And what makes it different than your, your church is 
my congregation changes every day. You know, the airport has such a human element, right? Because it is, because it is about connecting people. You know, there's nothing uh, better than going through the terminal and you see, you know, grandmother coming in to see the grandchildren she hasn't seen for a long time or somebody from the service is coming home and the, and the family's waiting there with the balloons and the banners and it chokes me up every time. You know, and, and that's really the mission of the airport, right? To connect people to, so they can either, you know, make a stronger livelihood, make a stronger relationship with folks.